Thanks, Mike. Bed bugs are great hitchhikers. They can travel easily from place to place in luggage, on clothing, so they're in every single region of the country. How does Omaha compare? With that answer, and how you can help prevent bringing bed bugs into your home? Orkin entomologist Dr. Ron Harrison, good morning. Good morning, how are you? Hey, we're doing great. Hope you are too. Listen, we've talked about these things before, and they're gross, I get it, but it's one of those necessary evils if we're gearing up for prevention. But first, where does Omaha rank on this list of 50 cities? So Omaha is number 21, Ew. and Lincoln, not far from y'all, is number 40. Why, why, why? How did we earn that distinction? Well, it's a really good question, and we don't completely know why the Midwest is so rough. We know that the Midwest is a problem. The Midwest and the Northeast have more bed bugs than the Southeast mm -hmm. and the South Central part of the United States. But, but it is important to understand that it continues to become a problem, and therefore everyone on a regular basis should be aware and inspect their home, their beds, to make sure that that few or that one bed bug that's introduced doesn't become an infestation. What do bed bugs look like, and then what are some of the signs? What do we look for to know they're living in our space? Well, first of all, bed bugs are very easily seen. An adult bed bug is the size of an apple seed and about that color. It's dark and brown. Babies on the other side, other hand, are, are much smaller, about the size of a pinhead. Mm -hmm. But the second thing to pay attention to is they leave behind their sign. Bed bugs only feed on blood, and so they defecate the previous blood meal when they Ugh. get a new blood meal. And that old blood meal is a dark, ink-stained looking material. And so we've got an actual uh, sheet here that has bed bug fecal uh, material oh, on it. Gross. And you can see that it's, that's right, it's black, it's ink, so easily seen. So therefore, inspect your bed, your mattress, regularly to see if that's there. If it's there, then you know you've got bed bugs and you need to get a professional in to help. The second thing is, is to know how you might get bed bugs. They don't live outside. They mm -hmm. only live inside with us. And so they've got to be brought in either on suitcases, yeah. on backpacks, things like that. Second of all, used furniture might have bed bugs in it. Or if you live in an apartment or a, co apartment or a condominium, mm -hmm. they may be coming from your neighbor. What can we do to prevent bringing them home? Well, that's tough, but what I always do when I go to a hotel room is I inspect it. So I'll actually come and I'll pull back the, the blankets and the fitted sheets and I look right along the edge of the mattress. I look along the headboard and if there's pictures close to the bed, bed bugs will live usually four or five feet from that host or the bed itself. Or if you sleep on a, a mattress or a box spring or even a couch. So therefore inspect and make sure that you don't have the opportunity for them to get in your suitcase. Second of all, when I come home on all trips, I make sure and put all of my clothes in the dryer at the highest setting, and then I store my suitcase in the garage away from my bed, so if bed bugs did get in the suitcase, they won't be migrating to my bed. We have less than a minute. Explain what we can do if we discover these pests, then what? So there's three things. Number one, make sure you identify it properly, and therefore get a professional in that knows what they're doing. You can go to orkin.com and find information about the bed bugs, also about how to get a hold of a professional. Second of all, you need to know how bad the infestation is. And third, then come up with a treatment program that eradicates them. Would you send our, our viewers to a website if they'd like to learn more, Dr. Harrison? Yeah, just go to orkin.com and you'll be able to find all the information you need about what we've talked about and how to get a hold of a professional. I like you, but I don't like this topic. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> we appreciate your time today. Thank you.